dear students today in our course of political theory we will be talking about the topic justice myself sumit kumar sharma i am an assistant professor in the department of political science at hpb girls college golapat you can also find the youtube link of this particular tutorial in sms language in the link provided below justice we all know that justice is of central importance in political practice and theory in defending or opposing laws public policies and administrative decisions of the government appeals are made to notions of justice justice is also involved in social and political movements civil disobedience and satyagraha campaigns thus the civil rights or civil liberties movements are essentially movements for justice so the dalit feminist or the environmental movements all of them come within the category for the want of justice so first of all let us see what do we mean when we say justice the very idea of justice so the word justice is derived from the latin words gender which means to bind or to tie together and also just a bond or a tie as a bonding or joining idea justice serves to organize people together into a right or fair order of relationship by distributing to each person his or her due share of rights and duties rewards and punishment we are aware that the roman emperor justinian stated some of the precepts of justice it's in latin language uh, it's known as alterum non letteri or not to harm or injure others and sum quoque tribui to allocate to each what is due to him to her we can also see here in the slide that justice is an idea of fairness or virtuous act or a moral act or arrangement this is the question we can pose and also at the same time as i had just mentioned that justice is whether giving each person his due fair share of law this is what justice meant in the ancient greek city states and socrates too talks about it it implies something which is not only right to do and wrong not to do but also which someone can claim from us as his moral right so justice is a kind of a moral principle a moral political value justice is interlinked with such other moral, moral political values as liberty equality and fraternity what makes a society or a state just in a basic sense is its right or fair ordering of human relations by giving to each person his or her due rights and duties as well as due rewards and punishments justice does this by bringing about adjustments between the principles of liberty equality cooperation etc traditionally then the principle of justice was taken to be a principle which balances or reconciles the principles of liberty equality etc such a balancing or reconciling is done with reference to some ultimate value we can take the example the value of the greatest happiness of the greatest number or the value of the freedom and equality of all the members of a society in this context it may be noted in passing that it is the balancing or reconciling nature of justice which is represented in the figure of personified justice who holds a balance in her hand we might have seen in most of the bollywood movies there is a very famous saying andha kanun we can see the statue of justice as being blindfolded now let us see what are the sources of justice since ancient time religion has been a major source of justice people claim justice on the basis of different religious scriptures and also there are historical traditions customs natural law reason and rationality from which justice is sought to be derived and if we look at ancient thinkers like plato for whom the fundamental values virtues wisdom justice temperance and courage so justice was for the important fundamental virtue in a human being and the person with the more capacity of being just was to be qualified as philosopher king and also aristotle talked about justice as being the notion of equality proportionality and maintenance of equilibrium for him justice would prevail if there was just a maintenance of balance in the society between the master and the slaves in recent times we have seen 
Rawls idea of justice as justice as fairness, Nojik, the well-known communitarian philosopher who said justice as entertainment, and also we have Amartya Sen, for whom capability was the most important thing to be just. We also have the notions of equality, liberty, and rights based on the concept of justice. So justice is the base of all other political philosophy. So briefly, let us see how justice did have evolved over a period of time. We will talk about this, the evolution of justice in the succeeding chapters. So here I will just briefly go through it. So we can see the idea of justice was discussed right from the Greek city-states. Socrates, Plato and his disciple Aristotle to talk about justice among different classes of people and it differed according to them. And we have also the Roman Empire, a powerful empire in ancient time. Thinkers as Cicero, Plutarch all talked about the just king and the philosophy of being just towards his subject. These empires will have to be noted that they were also had some democratic principles where the subject had certain rights to a certain extent over the king. So they too saw does this in a particular way. In the medieval period, we have seen that there are many religious philosophers like St. Augustine and Thomas Aquinas for whom justice derived from being religious or from the religious texts and scriptures. So, so Augustine talks about the two city-states where the city of the God was more important and human beings should try to achieve that. And we also have certain philo secular philosophy during the medieval period for whom the practicality of life was more important. The king, the prince uh, was more important than the religion and where people can find justice from the king. And in the modern time, we saw the onset of liberalism or we can say the modern industrial capitalism where pe people began to see justice in a liberal way. People like Adam Smith, the contractualists Hobbes, Locke, Rousseau and many others liberal thinkers and idealists of that time saw justice in the light of the ingrowing industrial capitalism. And also in the towards the postmodern age, we have seen justice has also changed its meaning. Justice is more today of about not just individual liberty, but also communitarian rights. Also the capacity of an individual to enjoy the justice as shown by the famous Nobel laureate Amartya Sen. So moving on, let's have some fun here. I know we all like watching movies, so why not watch a movie here? This is a movie which really was released somewhere in the 80s. Not a well-known movie with big stars, but a very interesting movie to watch. The Hindi version is Ek Ruka Bha Fesla, but we can also watch the original version which was in English, The Twelve Angry Men. So just to give you a plot of the story, the movie revolves around how a group of jury who has to decide on the fate of a young boy who is charged with the murder of an old man. So most of these people, the twelve people sitting to decide the jury, they had already a preconceived notion that the boy was a murderer, but then one person had some doubt and over a period of time, with very well articulated deliberation, how these people made up their mind to change their decisions. The movie is quite interesting and I think we should all watch it. The link of the movie is also provided here. Now let us see what are the different types of justice. The first and one of the oldest uh, well-discussed type of justice is the procedural justice. So as the name suggests, justice based on just, fair and transparent rules and procedure. So principles of procedural justice have traditionally been based on the idea of formal equality of persons, that is, their equality as human beings or as subjects of the rule of law, irrespective of the differences in gender, religion, race, caste, wealth, etc. Often, rights-based justice is seen as procedural justice, whereas need-based justice is seen as substantive or distributive justice. So another type of justice is the distributive justice. So the just distribution of goods and services, benefits and responsibilities comes under the notion of distributive justice. It may also imply social justice if equality of status, dignity of individuals and minimum needs of people are ensured by the society, community or the state. We'll later talk about it in more details. Another type of justice is the retributive justice. 
so retributive justice is reasonable and appropriate to the crime so when the person have committed a certain crime he or she should be given an appropriate and reasonable amount of punishment in consonance with the crime committed another type of justice is the restorative justice repairing the harm caused to the individual and the meant to the offender to bring back to the mainstream so we can see this kind of justice being applied in the idea of juvenile crimes where children below the age 18 or 16 are actually given a chance to restore or um, their own innocence by being by trained in different ways so another kind of newly evolving justice is the global justice which means pursuing justice at the international level so we can also find the different types of justice or different meanings of justice in a youtube video of the link of which i have provided here so let us talk more about the procedural justice so what does this mean so following just rules and procedures shall result into fair outcome so the people who support procedural justice believe that rules and procedures should be just for the outcome to be just and fair so they believe in the idea of fair play using just rules and institutional fairness and also we have the procedural justice is based on four principles being fair in the process the most important one then being transparent in actions providing opportunity of voice and also being impartial in decision so decision should not be biased or partial it is more closer to individualistic and the liberalist idea of justice and both nordic and rawls theory of justice are based on the principle of procedural justice and there is also formal legal and institutional justice which also will come under the procedural kind of justice another important division of justice or the type is the distributive justice so distributive justice believes in the just and fair distribution of social primary goods rights liberty income wealth etc for them distribution is of utmost importance idea of fair share and realize justice so whatever people have the society the state it should be based on the idea of fair share and the basis of distribution should be merit need equality or equity and moral values and also attainment of just social order on the basis of some common agreed upon criteria like common goods so different people in the society will have different kind of need so there has to be certain kind of common goods common understanding about goods and the basic needs which has to be addressed first so that is what distributive justice believes in and also it is a question of right versus commons and it is also a kind of substantive justice moving on let us talk a bit about differences between procedural justice and the distributive justice it is more about the ideological or the differences in principle procedural justice believes in fair play wherein more importance is given to the technique to the process whereas distributive justice believes in fair share and also procedural kind of justice stands for formal justice whereas distributive justice stands for substantial justice so in formal justice we have kind of institutions in the constitution whereas substantial justice is more about how the executive and the legislature work on the ground and also in procedural justice they believe more on the equality of opportunities whereas distributive justice stands for equality of outcome so it is a outcome based justice consistently consistent with liberal ideology is the procedural justice whereas the distributive justice is more closer to communitarian and socialist philosophy procedural justice believes in just rules and institutional fairness whereas distributive justice stands for realized justice it is me it just means that how justice is being played out in real life and not just in institution and constitution and we also have the theories of justice so this justice has been since it has been an ancient philosophy there are so many theories on it about which we will be discussing in the upcoming chapters so what does theory do actually theory is a kind of a conceptual map it's a hypothesis model and approaches to help understand justice and attainment of it so liberal theories of justice based on social contract there are two types of theory actually which is based on liberal theory 
Rawls theory, which means which stands for justice as fairness, and also there is communitarian logic theory, which uh, stands more about it talks more about justice as entertainment, and also we have some non-social context-based theories, the utilitarian theory, the greatest happens to the greatest number. Ben, Jeremy Bentham and J. S. Smith they believed in the utilitarian theory, and also we have Kantian theory, Immanuel Kant supported which stands for moral duty based on supreme principle of morality. We also have capacity, capability based approach to justice by Amartya Sen. We'll be talking about all these theories in the upcoming chapters. And newly developed is the feminist theory of justice and also we have the Marxist theory of justice. So justice has been a well deliberated philosophy in recent times. So let us deal with a question and ask ourselves. In India, we hear a lot about the reservation system. The supporters of it believe that yes, it has to be given to undo, to compensate the injustice that has been done to a section of people for since ancient times. Whereas people who oppose it say that this is the injustice, this promotes inequality and they should not be punished for the misdeeds of their ancestors. So I would like you all to watch this fantastic movie called Arachan and make and think about it and analyze on the both sides of the debate. The link of the movie is provided below. Now let us check your progress. So first of all, I want you to solve this Google form, which is a based of a kind of multiple choice questions and also write two essays, briefly explaining the idea and the concept of justice and also bring out the differences between distributives and procedural justice. So in today's class, we learned about the meaning of justice and also the different types as well as theories of justice. So now you have a conceptual idea of what justice actually is. So in the next class, we will be talking about the John Rawls principle of theory or the justice as fairness. Rawls in contemporary time has been remarkably famous due to his book called Theory of Justice. So we will be talking more about that in the upcoming chapters. So for today, thank you. Please complete your Google form and submit it as soon as possible.